Hello my friends and welcome back to Coffee Tea Paper. So we have a few things to do this week so grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or cold drink wherever you are. Um, we're going to do a bit of washi tape swatching, we're going to be looking at some happy mail and then working in my two journals. So first of all I want to share with you this amazing postcard I got from snail mail Suzanne so Suzanne's based in the UK and she's been on holiday lucky Suzanne and she sent me this postcard of this bridge now you might ask that's great a postcard of a bridge but the thing is I absolutely love bridges I have an obsession with bridges and here is my favorite book on bridges <laughs> and this particular bridge happens to be of extreme importance in the world um, history of bridge development and bridge engineering now the reason it is so important is because it is the first uh, it's the world's first modern suspension bridge. So if you think about some of the most iconic suspension bridges, yes, and I was doing a big lead up, it is the Manai suspension bridge. And so if you, if you think about some of the world's most iconic bridges, you think of well the, the the one comes to mind isn't it it's the golden gate bridge now that bridge would not exist without this bridge coming first and what suspension bridges do is allow greater spans over longer distances and higher as well and uh Yes, so I was just absolutely ecstatic when I received this postcard from Suzanne with a picture of the Manai Suspension Bridge. <laughs> so it's going into my collection of bridges, um, bridge postcards, bridge photos. And uh, yes, so we'll move on for those of you who are not that interested in um, engineering now I got some other happy mail this week and this is from Bronia who is actually uh, she lives in Queensland which is the same state in Australia that I live in as well though I live in the capital and Bronia lives out um, in the country um, out west and she's new to the um, journaling scene on Instagram though I'm not sure if she has been journaling or doing um, card making or crafts um, before that because uh, she makes some absolutely beautiful spreads and uh, she often uses die cuts um, and uh, some lovely quotes and so forth in her journal pages and I will leave a link to her Instagram um, below and I'll also put it on the bottom of the screen but she sent me some surprise uh, happy mail which is just so lovely um, she's made everything here herself which I just adore because it is unique it, you can't get it in a shop you can't you know um, find a dozen things like it elsewhere uh, it is absolutely unique so she has uh, made me these uh, beautiful journal quotes and um, I'm not sure if she's she's printed them or um, I, I'm not I don't think it's been typewritten um, but they've got that sort of typey font that I really really like and she's wrapped everything so nicely here she's included a little uh, silver bird charm on this wrapping so hello 
You know me and my birds. Oh, and there'll be bonus footage of our new birdie later. Yeah, Pebbles. She's so cute. <laughs> She's so little. Anyway, back to the happy mail. So, uh, Bronya has done these um, stunning watercolour backgrounds and they just have the most beautiful um, painterly, uh, like it's a, a painterly effect with, with those sort of um, varying strokes of, of colour and you can see the, the, um, uh, the bristle marks from, from the brushes on it and uh, yeah I can never really do it very successfully and so I just absolutely am um, blown away by her beautiful painterly technique. I mean, look at this one. Oh, gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Love it. And I'm loving all the, the greens and earthy colors as well that she has included. Now she's also made me some lovely die cuts and she's put another little charm on uh, this packet and it's a little golden bow which is so cute and I'm trying to think about how I'd like to to incorporate these little charms so yeah have to think about it so she's um uh, whipped out some beautiful uh, window frame like it almost looks kind of Moroccan doesn't it um, with that that sort of filigree um, window frames and also these these doilies and uh, yeah so more of those lovely natural greens and browns and um, this brown paper has a bit of a a, um, a sort of a a checkerboard effect on it um, I don't know what I'm trying to say here <laughs> and then she has been busy experimenting making her own paper and she very kindly sent me a whole bundle of her beautiful handmade paper and I love handmade paper. The the variety just astonishes me. And the inclusions in here, there's um, little flecks of um, green paper and I don't know, it looks like, I don't know if it's some, some plant matter or um, maybe like straw or, or grass and then uh, like book pages or magazine pages but uh, yes it's all jumbled in together and I really like how you can actually see the texture of the paper towels that she's used as well so I'll be using some of that in my pages later now I promised that we would swatch this Yohaku uh, vintage washi tape that I got in my bookbinders Australia bookbinders design Australia haul which you can actually see um, I'll link the video up in the top right it was part of my um, travelers cafe travelers notebook company haul video and uh, there was so much to look at and um, get giddy with excitement over um, I didn't swatch it in that video but here I am popping it into my washi swatching journal in my limited edition Traveller's Hotel uh, journal and I really like it when you can peel off the um, washi sticker from the packaging so yes yeah, so I actually saw this over on um, Ali's channel from um, Dabbling in Journals and when I saw it, I instantly had washi envy. And as I have recently finished a couple of washi tapes, I thought I would treat myself to this one. And it's just so lovely. I like the um, um, highlights of red on there as well. It looks like a red wax um, pencil or, or something. 
So yes, so that I found a spot for it after finishing some washi tapes in my drawers. And I'm just saying there, I'll have to come back and decorate the cover there because I haven't done that yet. And uh, I've been putting a couple of new entries in my multimedia journal, including um, we watched the, um, Uncharted the other week, and I also finished a novel called Cal by Judy Nunn. So I've just uh, written up those entry so I try not to show those because um, yeah it can be a bit of a spoiler isn't it if, if you haven't um, seen or read those so moving into my um, everyday carry journal which is the blue with my um, uh, my charm from Lin Chi Chia Ning and also my Enjoy the Journey charm and uh, this one I had personalised by um, book binders as well. So this is the one I use every day and I decorate here on YouTube. And you can see as we're into the second half of the second half of the year it's getting quite um, chunky which is what we like up to a point isn't it? <laughs> So it no surprises. I am so uh, excited to play with these new goodies that Bronia has sent me. So um, oh, I just I love that little birdie charm. Love, love, love. Oh, and it's funny because our new little baby cockatiel pebbles. Yeah, she's she's a white-faced cockatiel and she's really silvery and um, silver and white. So she's, um, yes, that little charm just reminds me of her. So I'm just picking out a quote here to use from the selection that uh, was in the envelope and I have decided to go with nature provides exceptions to every rule and I thought that was kind of fun oh, I'm just showing how um, she's cleverly used the um, inside of that um, die cut so to decorate the little envelope there which is perfect no waste so I, I love that I love that um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, nature provides exceptions to every rule. And the reason I chose that was because I was thinking about my lovely Pebbles, the cockatiel, and because she is a white faced. So, in the wild, so cockatiels fly in big flocks here in Australia. They're, they're more a. Um, um, they prefer like a more arid environment, uh, so a bit a bit drier with lots of um, um, grass grasses that have seeds and and so forth, and they get quite big flocks. And in the wild, their colourings are um, like a dark grey body with white flashes on the wings and a yellow crest and orange cheeks. And through breeding in captivity with breeders um, and so forth, um, cockatiels now have a whole variety of um, colourways. And so there are uh, cinnamons and pearls and pearl pieds and cinnamon pieds and white faced cinnamon pearls and <laughs> I mean you name it there's there's a whole bunch if you're really keen to have a look um, just uh, have a search on Pinterest and you can find um, there are like uh, uh, images with all the cockatiel variations <laughs> so of course Remy uh, Remy Loiseau our other cockatiel um, so he's, uh, and look, even though I say he, he is a she, for some reason we just got stuck calling her a he. Anyway, Remy identifies as bird. Um, so Remy is predominantly yellow with a bright yellow 
breast and um, head and bright orange um, cheeks and with some uh, little grey um, bits here and there and funny little grey patch on his tummy and he also has a funny little pink patch on his tummy too but that's not um, <laughs> that's that's not how he came it's because when I leave the house I like to kiss him goodbye on his tummy and often these days because we um, here in Brisbane we you don't have to wear a mask unless you feel that you um, would like to and so I'm enjoying going back to my lipsticks and wearing um, lipstick again which which we didn't for so long because it would just get on the inside of your mask and so Remy is often sporting um, some little lipstick kisses on his tummy <laughs> uh, yes so I decided I look with all the straight lines in the die cut I really decided that um, I wanted to get some texture on the page so we, I've done a bit of tearing along the, the edges of the um, painterly background the um, I've, I've highlighted that really beautiful natural deckled edge of the handmade paper and then I've also torn out the uh, quote as well just to soften all the look and then I thought I might pop in some washi tape in order to make the words stand out a bit more on the page so um, can't go past a grid uh, yeah so I thought that would look really nice and uh, yes yeah, so I decided to, to join them up and that little thank you card there that was um, the thank you note from um, Bronia as well so I'm not going to put that in this journal that one will go into my um, happy mail um, and pen pal journal so I keep sort of little bits and pieces in there um, also if I've done orders from small Etsy shops or other artisanal um, journal supply type shops and they send me a business card I will um, keep that in there as well and uh, yeah and so I thought I actually would use this washi tape which uh, has like a similar feel with that kind of watercolor um, background and um, I was a bit worried it got a bit lost on the page but I actually don't mind it I think it helps soften the edges and uh, helps tie those different elements like it sort of blurs the the boundaries between them and then I thought oh, it's been a while since I've used a, one of those girl stickers one of my girl stickers from my collection and so I thought I might have a little look around and see what I had and see if anything grabbed me otherwise I might see if I had a nice um, bird sticker or a flower and then I just found this girl and I really liked how she looked like she'd been walking along and she'd just seen something she looks like maybe she's been on a hike or something like that and she and um, just stopped in her tracks to look at something amazing a view an animal um, something from nature so I thought she would look very nice on my pages. So I'm just having a sip of my coffee while I ruminate what needs to go down in this bottom corner because it's all a bit top heavy at the moment. And then I thought nature does provide exceptions to every rule. And so often we think of bugs and creepy crawlies and insects as um, nasty things that we must um, get rid of and 
uh, and I was definitely thinking that today because I found a big thing of aphids on my capsicum plant so I wasn't overly thrilled about that and that reminded me I needed to uh, call the um, pest termite and pest inspection people as well and then I was thinking yes but not all insects are nasty and bad there are many beautiful ones and many useful ones as well and uh, I just rescued a daddy long legs that I found on the couch and I made sure that I popped him somewhere safe because I would much rather have a daddy long legs in my house than red back spiders and daddy long legs actually um, get rid of red back spiders so um, what's that saying like um my enemy's enemy is my friend something like that <laughs> <laughs> yes so that's the daddy long legs spider my, my enemy's enemy is my friend so he is very welcome to hang around inside our house so I just have to remember to look out for him when I'm vacuuming then I thought I'd pop in a couple of stamps using my uh, shachihata chestnut ink and uh, yeah so let's have a look at the finished product before we go and have a look at our birdies so you can see that die cut has a really nice kind of pebbly texture to it and that beautiful brush strokes, that beautiful painterly uh, watercolour background and that knobbly um, handmade paper and yeah it's, it's all just really really lovely and uh, yeah, so big thanks to Bronia for sending these beautiful things to me. I don't know if she watches my YouTube channel, but um, yes, I did thank her on Instagram. I'll be sending her a little thank you as well. And here is Missy Pebbles. <laughs> so you can see Pebbles won't stay in the camera shot. And uh, she's got food all over her big, but she's only little. She's only 10 weeks old. She's only a baby. And uh, yeah, she's so small and cute. And we called her Pebbles because she's like pebbles on the bottom of a, of a river. You know, like a little pebbly stream, a brook, a babbling brook. And uh, yeah, so she's, oh, and she jumped up onto my phone then <laughs> to say hello. She's quite affectionate. And here is Remy with his lipstick tummy. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. In the meantime, have fun, stay safe. Bye.